Hi, I'm Oscar Brown Jr. on the jazz scene, USA. Among the hundreds of fine musicians jazz has produced, some are noted for the heartwarming beauty of their music, others for the brilliance of their instrumental technique. It isn't very often that you find true inspiration combined with total virtuosity. One exception to that rule is the amazing young man in the spotlight today. You don't have to take my word for it, of course. The only requirements are Phineas Newborn's hands and your attentive ears as he plays his own theme for Basie.
groovy. That was theme for Basie, named for a musician who heard Phineas Newborn ten years ago in Memphis, and Basie swears he hasn't recovered yet. A reviewer once said that Phineas has a command of the instrument to make other pianists weep, and the ability to translate into immediate action any thought that comes into his head. Even among classical pianists who perform set compositions, the complete virtuoso is a rarity. But when you get into jazz and a great deal of improvisation is called for, the demands on the player are almost forbidding. Phineas has a background of years of intensive study as a concert pianist. You might assume this from the way he incorporates a Ravel sonatine as an introduction into his next performance. From his recent album, A World of Piano, Phineas plays the durable Billy Strayhorn melody, Lush Life.
one night years ago when the late Art Tatum and the first great Bach pianist Bud Powell were both working at Birdland in New York, Art acted a little sarcastic toward Bud. He called him a one-handed piano player who relied entirely on his right hand. Well, the next night Bud walked in, sat down at the piano, and played the whole set with nothing but his left hand. Tatum apologized, and that night they buried the hatchet and went out together and had a ball. I'm telling you this little anecdote because Spinius shows a Bud Powell influence as well as a Tatum-like facility, and because the next newborn opus is blues for the left hand only. When a jazz musician has a formidable technique, sometimes people assume that it must be acquired at the expense of a soul. Critics throughout the years have said this kind of thing about everybody from Art Tatum on down. But if you want the real answer, just listen to the wonderful, tender, warm Phineas Newborn along with Al McKibben and Kenny Dennis instills into this traditional 16-bar pattern with its very subtle altered chords. It's called the New Blues.
our guest today being a very intense and intent young man, rather than break his mood with an interview, I'll run down the facts as I know them. He's 31, from Whiteville, Tennessee, and he's worked in all kinds of settings, from rhythm and blues in a combo featuring his father on drums and his brother on guitar, to Lionel Hampton's orchestra and an army recruiting unit. He can play just about everything in the band, from trumpet and French horn to tenor sax and vibes. Fin Phineas has only really been known in jazz circles since 1956, when he played at Basin Street East in New York. A fascinating facet of the newborn style is the way he can use both hands to play parallel lines, completely ad-lib and in unison. You'll probably hear this in the second chorus of this one, the Sonny Rollins composition, Olio. touch of genius on the jazz scene, USA. Thanks for swinging with us. Oscar Brown Jr. here. Later. <laughs>